The Ford F-150 has been the best-selling truck in the U.S. for 44 years in a row and by far America's most popular vehicle in general. In May of 2021, Ford unveiled the next generation, the fully electric F-150 Lightning, which is arguably the biggest game-changer for the company in the transition from fossil fuels to green energy. It brings aspirations of retaining its existing customer base and its trusted built Ford Tough capabilities. Let's take a closer look at what makes the F-150 Lightning so special. The Specs Having been the most popular model of vehicle for almost half a century, the designers at Ford faced a problem while realizing their ambition of designing an all-electric version of the F-150. Simply put, the type of customers looking to buy a new truck aren't exactly those pushing for the electrification of everything, and are overall quite happy to continue using fuel-based vehicles so long as they get the job done. To overcome this, Ford had to design an electric F-150 that's equal to or even better than the most recent version of the truck, as well as those being offered by their competitors. And the Lightning is arguably just that. Producing 563 horsepower and 775 pound-feet of torque, which is more than any previous F-150 has been able to do, the Lightning can, according to the manufacturer, carry a weight of up to 2,000 pounds and tow loads of up to 10,000 pounds. It also boasts an acceleration of 0 to 60 miles per hour and 4.5 seconds, which is a full second quicker than the F-150 Raptor. The dual motor truck is the most aerodynamic design Ford has ever created, which significantly improves its efficiency while maintaining the classic F-150 look. With a large LED daytime running light strip across the front and a similarly designed brake light at the rear, it also has a smoothed out front grille for better aerodynamics, made possible because there's no actual engine that needs cooling. Ford uses the body on frame method, which helps create a strong foundation for the Lightning. Since the chassis and the body are separate units, the truck can easily adjust and withstand the twisting forces it may face while traveling off-road. The tires, which are made expressively for this truck, feature less rolling resistance to ensure that the F-150 Lightning saves energy while efficiently achieving its maximum range. Cost and Features One of the main problems with encouraging the uptake of electric vehicles is the price, which often excludes most potential customers. With the F-150 Lightning, however, Ford has managed to keep the price at a competitive point. So much so that the entry options are actually cheaper than some versions of the combustion engine F-150s. With the base version costing less than $40,000 and even the mid-series model, the XLT, priced at under $53,000, owners will also benefit from features that have never been possible in a truck. For example, the Lightning will have a series of power outlets that will provide up to 2.4 kilowatts, with the option to expand this further which surely will be an invaluable asset for people who use their trucks for work, particularly if they often need to use electric tools in locations where there's no other power source. There's a 15.5-inch touchscreen infotainment system, which has Alexa pre-installed and is compatible with Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. And the analog dials on the dash have been replaced with another 12-inch digital driver's display. With sensors installed throughout the car, it also offers Blue Cruise, which is Ford's version of an autopilot system that can automatically accelerate, brake, and steer in certain situations. But like with similar designs, you'll need to be holding the wheel at all times for this to operate. Furthermore, to ensure everything's kept up to date, especially with the way it manages its batteries and the auto drive functionality, the F-150 Lightning supports over-the-air software updates so Ford can continually improve the systems. The Drawbacks As Ford's first venture into producing an electric truck, there are some downsides that are common with most EVs and relate to the compatibility of the batteries. The F-150 Lightning will be available in a standard or extended range version, with the standard offering a distance of up to 230 miles on a single charge, and the extended raising this to 300 miles. In real-world use, the range will likely be far less than this because the figures are based on an empty truck. With 2,000 pounds loaded in the back, the true distance between charges is expected to be around half that. The F-150 Raptor, as a comparison with its 26-gallon tank, has a range of more than 400 miles, so the Lightning designers have done everything they can with the batteries to attempt to overcome the problem this causes. 
When plugged into a 150 kilowatt DC fast charger, the Lightning can be recharged 54 miles worth of power every 10 minutes, or from 15% to 80% capacity in 41 minutes. This is still, of course, far longer than it would take to refuel with fossil fuel, but if managed correctly, such as doing it during lunch breaks, it shouldn't be too much of a hindrance for anyone but the heaviest of users. Availability Ever since Ford announced the F-150 Lightning, there's been huge excitement around when they'll deliver the first ones. And the good news is that the company is targeting early 2022 for them to begin rolling off the production line. Pre-orders are already being taken, and while the applicable taxes vary by state and could impact the $40,000 price, there are still many places offering electric vehicle subsidies that will keep the cost down. Interested customers in countries other than the U.S. may be in for a much longer wait, however. Currently, Ford is only taking orders in North America, mainly because it is the largest market for trucks. They are yet to announce any plans to release the F-150 Lightning in Europe, for example, which is a market that notoriously prefers smaller vehicles. Conclusion Ford has been manufacturing the F-150 for decades and has listened to what its customers want to such an extent that it's been the market leader by far for most of that time. As every other vehicle manufacturer has found, it's been a challenge to create an electric truck, but the Lightning is undoubtedly a promising first attempt. The company has proved it's actually capable of generating more torque than fuel-based versions and is still competitive on price. Based on those metrics alone, it's surely worth serious consideration by anyone who is looking for an upgrade. Now, the question is, can the F-150 Lightning outperform its predecessor? And will it dominate the half-ton electric pickup market the same way? Tell us your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to Most Extreme and turn on notifications for more innovative content. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.